We've been purchasing bundles to unlock Greg Lee, who is a legendary crew member, but what does he even do? And is he worth it? Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chiskel Gaming, and this video has been sponsored by the makers of Infinite Galaxy. I want to show you Greg Lee. I haven't even seen him myself, who is a legendary crew member. Now, I've been picking him up in some of the daily special offers that have showed up. And once you have 20 crew cards for a crew member, you can unlock them. I want to caution you, however, that there's a big downside to unlocking a crew member this way. Because when you go and you actually recruit crew, which is something I'll do right now using my remaining prestige, when you unlock a commander, you get 20 of their data cards in one shot. Whereas in the future, every time they show up, you'll get 10. So it's a little more expensive to try to unlock him by purchasing the data cards than by getting him from these crew cards. But I mean, gosh, you've got to get really lucky with your spaceport prestige. Let's just, we'll just see how we do. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hello, bring the luck. Hello, Aldridge Chase Corey. Nice. It would be kind of amazing if we unlock him in these tiny amount of summons that we're going to do. That would be honestly fairly spectacular, although very unlikely. Yeah, sure. Okay. No luck there, although I do like the 240 experience right over there. Mm, that's nice. We'll rip open a couple more times here just to showcase that, and maybe we'll get lucky and pull one of these legendaries. Obviously, you know, my luck has been okay. I think others have been more lucky. Perhaps others have been less lucky with their Spaceport Prestige crew polls. That was a tongue twister there. And hey, I like Andrea Bruno. I use frigates and okay. No luck yet, Karen. And I wouldn't normally recommend you use Corium to go and do this. I'm gonna do it just to show you. We'll do another five spot here. And that'll be our last shot at uh, pulling a legendary before, gosh darn it, we'll just use the data cards and unlock Greg, all right? That's probably what we're going to have to do. And then we'll get a look at what he does. Oh, wow. Hey, these were not bad pulls. Harvey Garrett. He, he, I like how he claps when he arrives because that's kind of how I feel. Okay. It's not a crew member I particularly want for his ability. It's just the experience is really good. Perfect. Well, we didn't get the legendary crew we were looking for or any legendary crew. So let's go to the crew list. We'll go to our crew data cards and it's time to summon Greg and see what the heck I've even been picking up. Here we go. Recruit. Greg. Do it. What do we got? Hey, yo. Cutscene. There's that cutscene, baby. Oh, yeah. That dude means business. Ooh, you see that? You see that little head rub at the end there? That was nice. Legendary. He's a logistics officer with the flex and a mechanical arm. I don't know if I knew that of him. I don't know. We got a little Luke Skywalker action up in here. Okay, cool. The Winter Soldier. What does he do? What does he do? Okay, replace components. Increases your uh, repair speed by 2.5%. So that's probably not something I'm going to be using all the time as a crew member. And what does he do over here? Increase all resource speed gather up by 2.5%. Honestly, he's got to be an advisor and it's a great peacetime ability. Don't get me wrong. It's a great peacetime skill, but I, I like the war stuff personally. You never know when you're going to get attacked, so I'd just like to have that stuff ready. If we look at what he does as a captain, how about that? Optimized engine. Navigate speed of your fleets. I'm not in love with that. When you get him to level 5, however, all resource gathering speed by 17%. Now, that's nice. I feel like if I get this dude to level 5... My game plan is to have him for gathering speed and to just put him in a ship that I'm using to gather, and that seems fine. Feels like he's probably not a top priority crew member for me, but I just want to emphasize for a moment that gathering is kind of a big deal, and you really are resource constrained heavily in this game. So I get the value there. He is a logistics primary, tech secondary crew member. That means that when you start to uh, put levels onto this dude, he is going to be almost entirely on logistics and a few extra points off to the side on tech as you level him up. When you put him in a formation with four logistics crew members, and I'll be honest, there are not many epic, 
crew members that are logistics that I'm excited about. But if you could get to four, you would get three extra tech points and five extra logistics points. And when he hits level 15, boom, there's another eight more logistics points as Greg stands there and does that shrug over and over. Oh my gosh, that shrug. Do it, Greg. Do the shrug, buddy. Wait, seriously, you're just not gonna... There it is. There's that shrug. <laughs> He's shrugging. He's like, oh, I'm just, you know, it's whatever, flex. <laughs> okay, thanks, Greg. Thanks. Dude, what is even going on with his arm over here? Okay, well, the future, it's a terrifying place. So... I think this is a crew member I'm probably not using in the short term. I certainly don't have the experience to put him in my main lineup. If you did have a bunch of levels into him to get the gather speed up, I mean, all your fleets getting gather speed up, you spend most of the time gathering. It's not so bad. It's just a low priority for me at this exact moment in time. And he's not leveled up enough to be particularly exciting for me. I do think repair speed is kind of cool if you're in a war. And the rest of the time... You can slow repair, and, and I think slow repairing is perfectly fine. So looking at the crew that I've got today, I personally think I'm going to keep Greg sidelined, and I'm going to stick with the crew that I've got here. And eventually, I mean, once I get him to level 5, I'll probably make him a captain. I'll put him on a gathering ship. Right now, I've got several gathering captains that I'm really happy with. I've got this dude right over here, Lincoln. He is giving me, what is it? He is giving me gathering speed for titanium and deuterium, which is great. I've also got this crew member over here, Amagi. She is giving me titanium skill output from planets, as well as deuterium output from planets, which I'm really happy about. One more that we're using, oh, there's Lincoln, is right over here, Rebecca. She's giving us titanium steel gathering speed and titanium steel uh, output from planets, 28.8%. So I'm happy with these crew members, and I've got them distributed in a way that probably makes sense. Maybe I'll go and revisit it, but I would probably add Greg. All resource gathering speed is really good. Once I get him to level 5, that's a long-term project I don't see happening anytime soon. Oh, and P.S. I totally realized at some point in the middle of that video or before I started filming, my gathering speed up buff went away. That's a 50% gathering speed buff. So just remembering to go in and with Corium, if you need to, go and purchase in the shop some extra gathering speed is kind of a big deal. Yes, you are going to be paying Corium on an ongoing basis, but yes, that is probably cheaper than using your Corium straight for resources. Get the benefit of the gathering speed and enjoy that. I think that's definitely the way to go. I recently unlocked my fourth fleet, which is kind of a big deal, so I'm enjoying being able to use all of these ships for gathering and yeah, having that 50% gathering buff. And I mean, there's no downside to stacking it up. So you can see here, I've got 24 hours left on that. No reason I couldn't even just go in now and be like, fine, here's a whole nother day. Boom. So I don't forget. <laughs> like, just happened. Now I've got two days. Perfectly fine. Honestly, better than being without it. But if there's something important about Greg that I missed, Definitely let me know down below in the comments. I would be eager to see that. And until next time, you have fun smashing your nebula.